Hey guys, it's Megan, your wedding photographer friend with another installment to the engagement session series where I give you a few quick tips on how to make your engagement session the best ever. So today I wanted to give you four tips on how to make your engagement session really pop with intense, rich colors and bomb lighting and just little things that you can do to make sure that it's popping. So my first tip is how are these photos being edited? Are they being edited by your photographer or are they being outsourced? So for us, we edit all of our photos in home. Each photo is done by hand. For each couple, we create their own custom preset that best reflects their skin tone, which is also another reason why we love having a chance to shoot them before their actual wedding day. It's crucially important to get things right in camera, but editing at home is the cherry on top to make your vision come to life. If you'd like any tips on editing, I'd be happy to help. Send me a message or comment down below. Our second tip is the lighting. I know, you hear me talking about this a lot, about golden hour, silver hour, um, but I mean, lighting is like a core factor in how your photos are gonna look. So like early in the morning has that soft, dewy light when the sun is just rising, and it just makes your skin tone look soft and everything behind you soft and glowing. But if you want your photos to really pop, you might want to wait until the sun gets a little bit more dramatic. So when it's high up in the sky, maybe like around noonish or a little bit afternoon, your photos will really pop with that dramatic look. But I will warn you that shadows are going to be harsh. So it's um, kind of like a catch-22. How do you want your photos to look? The shadows will be sharp, and um, but you can always work with it. And it gives you a chance to get a little bit more creative with your lighting. Third tip is what are you wearing? Are you gonna wear something that shows up and pops or are you gonna go with a monochromatic look? So for me, my background is kind of neutral, so I wore this really orangey red to really make me pop against my background. And as you can see, it's popping. Now for the engagement session that I'm showing you here, this is at Graffiti Alley. So for my couple, their, their background is so colorful that they didn't need to wear any bright, loud colors. They just wore uh, a very, um, so they wore solid colors and that made them stand out, but their photos are still rich, intense, and popping. So it depends on your background of what you should wear to really make your photos feel more cohesive and and strong. And that goes right into my fourth tip. Where are you shooting? Can you find a place that is unique, bold, and exciting? Because if you can, that'll make your stuff, that'll make your session really stand out. And I can promise you, you're gonna like the, you're gonna like the way you look. Oh my God, Men's Warehouse. And I can promise you, that's gonna be a look that you can really appreciate. That's horrible. No, but seriously, I know that finding the location for your session is the hardest part of, you know, planning your engagement session. So I always say find a place that is sentimental to you or something that you can tie into your story to make it feel more valuable to you. And looking back on those photos from years from now, you can be like, yeah, we picked that photo because of that and that works. And if you're a photographer, we recommend that you give your clients a list of places that they can shoot at. Maybe somewhere that you've been before that you know, you know, photographs well. Uh, definitely a place that's safe, a place that allows photographers to shoot at um, and help them out a little bit because remember, this is their first time planning a wedding, probably. So, so help them out a little bit in this and, um, you know, and just be helpful. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out the other installments into the Engagement Session series. I've got like 12 of them, and they all give out really good tips. So um, check them out on IGTV at Megapixels Media, or check them out on YouTube. Either one, it's free, it's easy, it's helpful, and I made them for you, so enjoy. And subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day, guys. Bye.